Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I teach you how you can battle sports and actually win. Now the method that we're going to use in this video is at your own risk and it is possible possible that you get limited by a sports betting book. So let's get started. Now the method we're going to use for this video is positive EV betting. So it's positive expected value betting and I'm not going to explain exactly how it works but I'm just going to explain you exactly how to do it. Um, if you don't know exactly why you have to do it how it works just do it and you'll earn money now this is not a way to make hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of dollars if you don't do it on a very large scale this is just to supplement your income if you're a teenager and why it is so lucrative is because it takes so um so like small amount of time um and the bets you're the bets you're going to do are bets that are in the future um if you do it in the long term going to be worth like every single bet is on average like five percent uh profit so if i bet a hundred dollars a hundred times uh, i'm gonna make five dollars a hundred dollars those hundred times and that is going to turn into five hundred dollars so let's get started so what you will see is that i have a screen share i mean disable this video capture and we'll go to the um to the screen share and to the uh to a website so right so on my left here i have a website called shorebet you can create an account for completely free and then you just need to go to the value bet section and i'm going to explain to you what settings you should use um if you want to make uh, the same results as i have and here on the right i have the um a sports betting uh book called unibet and this one is in the us and europe from what i know um, I'm also going to use an app called Bet365 as it is um, uh, quite lucrative. So this Bet365 is really useful for the majority of bets because as you can see on the screen to the left here, um, the majority of bets are going to be on Bet365. But I'm gonna ha I have had the most success with Unimet. Now, how this works is that sports books um, tend to have odds on all the games that you play. So um, I'm going to explain all of this later right here. But let's say uh, we're going to go on this. This is like some bullshit ass league in Germany and it's a women's game. So um, you know how that is. So we have the Germany second division Bundesliga for women. And these are teams I have never heard of. I would never watch a game from these, but we're gonna make money off them. So we have this TSV Nord Harrisley women, and we have these SG Mainz Brattenheim women. And on a normal sports book, um, let's say uh, Bet365, um, a game like this would usually be uh, correctly. Um, set odds for so the sports book would set odds that make them earn money in the long run that's how they make money so i'm going to explain uh, a little bit more how we can exploit this later on but that's just a thing of this and this sports book will um misplace these odds miscalculate these odds so that sometimes you can actually make money off them in the long run so let's say you play a casino game and uh, it's a coin flip. So every time you flip a coin, it should be 50-50, right? But this, but the casino coin is gonna have a 51% to win for the casino and a 49% for you to win. So in the long run, that 1% uh, difference, uh, or like that 2% difference is gonna make a lot, of, um, a lot of difference in the end. So in the long run, um, they're gonna make like one percent off you every single time um, if, if they place enough bets and that's exactly the tactic we're gonna use so in these um, On this site you can just refresh because the odds change pretty quickly We can see the overvalue of each of these bets. So let's say you place a thousand bets with of one dollar or let's say you place a thousand bets with a hundred dollars each. This is just in theory. If you place all those bets, 
you should be able to make 14% on every single bet in the long run, on average. So let's say 14% of $100 is $14.4. That, that means that $14 times the 1,000 times you put down a bet, that's going to be 14 grand. So over the long run, you're going to make 14 grand on bets like these. And not all the uh, odds, this is like the top of the line, the best of the best odds or um, expected value on the odds. So this is not what you're going to see every time. Um, there is lower and there's, there is better. But for settings, first you create an account, then just go in here. For settings, these are the settings you're going to have. So just take minimal odds for calculations, 10. Um, events during uh, probably take in the next 12 hours because you want to get these results fast and if you take like uh, a week um, you're not going to be able to turn in uh, turn that initial investment into more money as quickly then for the odds 1.5 probability 40 because some bets are like you have like the odds are like 80 times your money so it's like an 8,000 percent uh, increase in money if you win that bet but the probability is so low so you will have to go so many bets to actually make money so that's why you should have like a bet at least over 40 probability so that means that there's a 40 percent chance that your bet is going to win and if it's more than that and it's over uh, 2x uh, in the odds that is going to be a very good bet so let's check out this out so as you see i have my screen on the right and it's going to be a bit laggy, of course, because it's a free software that I use to share the screen. But what you're going to do is go to search. And then what you're going to do is just refresh the page and find the best bet that you can. And so let's see here. We have some bullshit Portugal second division futsal game. Um, and it has a 50.2% probability um, of happening and a 2.25 odds. And... Here is the market that you're going to look for. Now, to make sure this bet actually exists, just click on this link. And if it doesn't turn up to a bet365.com link or any other sports book, it does not exist anymore. But here we can see what we should bet on. So let's go back. So on the phone, I'm not going to type in Passos de Ferreira. That is one of the teams, so it's going to be easy to find. Pacos de Fe Ferreira. And apparently they have some bullshit game. Uh, non Alvarez, here we go. So, what we're gonna go do is go into here and then. Um, we're gonna look at this. So when it says H A H two, that's gonna be it's Asian handicap, and that's just a name for the type of bets that you place. So it's gonna be Asian handicap team two. So team two that is Pacos de Ferreira. This is the first team, and this is the second team. And then we need to look at it plus one point five. Now I don't actually am invested enough to know what all of this means. I just follow this website. I place the bets and I make money. So what you're gonna do if you look at my screen and I have the Packers of Ferreira and I have the plus one five. And to make sure that this is the right bet, just check the odds right here, 2.25. And here I have 2.25. So just click here and then I place money. Now 10 in my currency is gonna be $1. So I place 10. And it's good. Now let's do another bit. So let's just refresh this page and see what we can do. So I think I've already bet on this one, but we're now going to bet on normal football. So make sure the odds actually exist. Yes, they do. Or no, it has been suspended. Because sometimes the sportsbook just remove the betting page to limit um, bad odds that they have put on themselves. Um, so we're going to do something that is today. Here we go. We have Iceland Premier League. 
All right, we have it's, and it's basketball too. So we got we're just gonna uh, search for this team Tinda Stoll versus Njordavik. Um, and now we're just gonna check. So uh, here you just have to hover over this thing to see the actual uh, bet. So it's gonna be total over ninety point five, and it's gonna be points in the first half. Of the game so they are betting on that the teams will um, put put up 90 point over 90.5 points in the first half and these odds are usually based on um, the average points per game um, that this league ha has or these teams ha have so what are you gonna think first um check for the first alternative first half totals and check go for 90.5 now you can see i have 90.5 i'm going to select it make sure it's the same odds and it is 2.4 and just click and bet whatever stake you want now I, you can place a 10 cent stake if you want and that will also work um and that's basically it now, if you want to check my betting history in this app, it is not as great as my other applications. Um, here I have uh, I have quite some bets in line. I have 16 bets for today and tomorrow. Um, but I can show you my betting history. Uh, there we go. History. Settle bets. So I'm gonna do since the first bet was, and that was the 22nd. Um, so you see, there's a lot of bets that I have lost here. And it's not as great as my Unibet um, uh, bets. On this application, I have gone uh, plus minus zero. So basically net zero profit, but I haven't lost any money. Then on Unibet, uh, which I'm not gonna open right now uh, because I'm broadcasting it to my phone uh, and I can't open it. Um, I have, or maybe I can, yeah, here I can. So on this, on Unibet, I have 323 crowns, which is 32 point, uh, yeah, 32, uh, 32.3 dollars. Uh, on this one, I have that in cash and then I actually have uh, I have quite some money in open bets right now so it's it's 80 crowns in, in open bets and the total amount of deposits I've done in this account is 200 so this means that in total I have made uh, 323 plus 80 it's gonna be 403 I know there's 20 more on that so 423 minus 200 so here I've doubled my money in just under a week and that's just the beginning of it so I'm gonna stop the screen share here and I'm gonna exit this tab now that's all you need to know for um, for this video I'm gonna enable the webcam so that's what you'll need to know. And to verify this is real, I'm gonna show you in real life my phone, just show you that it's not a recording or anything. Um, I'm just gonna log in. Thank you for bearing with me here. But as you see, this is my actual account, 323.75. Like it's, it's the actual screen. Um, and if you want to learn more about this, just drop a comment down below or something like that. Um, um, I don't think I'm going to do another video on it because it's like, take some time to explain everything. But just so you know the premise, this is how you make money with sports betting. There's no other way to really make money in the long term. Um, you can't do like actual game analysis like 
um, anal analyzing the weather, the players, the the insider information that's out there to make like bets that are not mathematically uh, correct. Um, and you can try to predict games like that, but that's not um, how I try to make money. I try to make money with actual maths and not just like some pseudoscience. Um, now there are very profitable letters um, that do like game and actual game analysis, but uh, it's not for me because I'm not that invested into sports. Like, I, I wouldn't have the time to invest like 18 hours a day just analyzing games and stuff like that, especially for sports I'm so uninterested in, um, such as like tennis and, and stuff like that. So for me, this is the best way to make money sports betting. And um, once you've built up quite a portfolio or like a, a balance of money, um, maybe a couple thousands of dollars, you can actually make like $50 or $100 extra a day. Uh, which is kind of incredible. You just have to place bets that are large enough. Um, so just place like, I don't know, 20 bets of $100 each. And uh, that's two grand of your five grand. And then you can just um, expect the bets to fall through. Or if you're not comfortable with that, place 100 bets in a single day for like, I don't know, $20 each. That's also two grand and just continuously do the cycle. You can probably also develop like some kind of automatic system through it, um, like a, an algorithm just takes, scrapes the um, short bet uh, info from this site that I have in the background, um, right here, um, and just inputs that into the betting app automatically. Um, and that's maybe something you should do, or I should do, uh, I don't really know. But um, I hope you guys have good luck with this method of making money.